What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title today, we are trying out some more very extra and very unrealistic looking Timu dresses. These dresses are so beautiful in the photos, but something tells me they might not be legit based off of the price points. Every single dress you're gonna see in this video was under 20 pounds, which I feel like is really affordable considering the amount of like intricacy and detail that these dresses have. Anyways, if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, Hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see what these Timu dresses are about, then without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here is my little bag of goodies from Timu. I'm just going to pull out the first dress at random, and it is this one. This dress is this one right here. It is so stunning, and it was only £14.78. First things first, absolutely love the color. It's kind of like a cream, sort of ivory, vanilla kind of color, which I love. Ooh, okay. So here it is. It's a very, very like ruched front. It's got a zipper in the back to allow you to get into the dress. It seems to have quite a bit of volume in the actual skirt itself. But then the best part about this dress is the fact that it has this giant ribbon that you can like tie around the back of the dress and it just looks stunning. You actually can decide whether you tie the bow at the front or the back. It's totally up to you. Okay, so quality wise, it feels kind of thin, but but then again, I didn't really expect much for that price point. At the front where the bust is, it does have like a double layer of fabric, I guess, to make it less see-through. So I guess that's a good thing. I really like the ruching on the sides. I think it's gonna look super flattering. So let's go pop it on and see how it looks. Okay, so here is the first dress and what it looks like on. I'm not gonna lie, comparing this to the photo, I honestly feel like this is such a fail. It just looks really, really frumpy. Like this part here is quite baggy and it just doesn't sit right. I've tried to cinch it in in the waist as much as I could. That's probably the best thing about this dress is that it has that tie thing in the back so you can really make it snatched if you want it to be. I do quite like the amount of volume it has. Like it's a nice length. It's a nice like volume but I don't know. It just looks a little bit cheap to me. Also, if you wear this dress, you 100% need a helper to tie the bow in the back because look at that sad bow. That is literally the worst bow I've seen in my life. It is so hard to tie a bow behind your back that looks presentable, let alone with a ribbon that's like really thick and chunky. So yeah, all I'm gonna say is that I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't think it really gives the same vibe as the photo did, but equally I feel like this dress could be like tailored and amended in a way that would make it look better. It also probably needed a steam, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks straight out the bag. So this is it. Let me know what you guys think, but I think on the scale of one to 10, I'm probably Probably gonna rate this like a four. All right, the next dress that we have is this one here. It's a gray one. Oh my gosh, I remember which one this was. It was this one here, and honestly, I fell in love with this. It's just got so many like draping bits of fabric everywhere, and it just looked so cool. It's actually a mini bodycon kind of dress, but it almost makes it look like it's a maxi dress from the picture. This one was sixteen pounds at forty nine. So let's see what the quality of this one is like. Ooh, okay. Okay. I don't know why, but this is giving like Kim K vibes. I swear that she wore a very, very similar dress to this before. I really don't understand what's going on here. There's a lot to digest and it didn't arrive how I expected it to look. So this is the front and it's literally just a plain gray bodycon dress. There's nothing to it. It's a very, very simple cut and design, but it then has these mesh kind of fabric sort of like draping ribbons that you can then tie across the front wherever you like. It actually has three layers of this on each side. So you can tie it however you like to your preference. And honestly, I think that's kind of cool, but I definitely didn't expect it to arrive like this. I thought it was already gonna look like this. I'm gonna have to study the picture to see how I can make this dress look like that photo because I really like how that looks. Fabric wise, I would say this is actually a lot thicker in fabric. It looks a little bit see-through, but it's a very like stretchy, thick, rigid kind of fabric compared to the previous dress. So I have a feeling I am gonna get on quite well with this, but I guess we'll see. Let's go pop it on. All right, so here is the next dress. And honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. I feel like it had a lot going for it, but it's very like weirdly fitted, especially around the chest area. Everywhere else, it fits perfectly fine, the waist, the hips, but this is so loose. There's literally so much room around like the top. The circumference of like my bust is okay, 
but it's just so like baggy right here on the neckline. It does not adhere to my skin right there. Like you can literally just fold it over. It's so loose. I've tried to tie it as best as I could to try and replicate the photo. However, after tying it exactly how she tied it across the body, I actually don't have enough of these to wrap around my neck. So maybe there should have been an extra bit of fabric like this just to kind of wrap around the neck to match the photo. However, sadly there is not. I have to say what I do really like about this dress is all the dangly bits. I feel like that really makes this dress and gives it that point of interest. I just wish so badly that it was better fitted around the sort of like neckline area. So I think in my opinion, this dress probably deserves like a four out of 10 again. It's okay, but it's just not quite there. Okay, moving on. The next dress we're gonna be trying out is this one right here. It is so cool looking. All the cutouts are like amazing. It's not something I would personally ever like wear, but I can appreciate the beauty. This one was 16 pounds 58 and it looked amazing in the photo, but it did also look too good to be true for that price, especially because this is like a full on maxi dress. All right, here it is. Is this the front? I think this is the front. So <laughs> it's very, very cool looking. I mean, this is definitely gonna be quite revealing. I don't know why I didn't think that when I bought the dress. I was looking at the photo of the model wearing it and I just thought, yep, it's got cutouts, but I just didn't imagine it on me. So now that I'm looking at it with the idea that I'm gonna put this on, I'm like, okay, this, is, this could be a little bit too much. But hey, that's why we're here. We're on this channel to try these things out so you guys don't have to. So it's a high neck kind of dress. It's got all these cool like skin toned kind of cutouts and then it has even more on the bottom half of the dress. I mean, look at that. The cutout on the hip area does go quite low as well, so I'm concerned. The dress does look like it's gonna be super long. Look at that train, like it kind of fans out at the bottom, so I feel like this is gonna be so flattering. As you guys know, I don't really have a life. I don't really go to any events, so I have no idea where I would even wear something like this, apart from like maybe New Year's Eve. Even then, this is a bit too much for me, but let's go Go try it on and just see what it's like. All right guys, so here is the next dress. And I actually have to say, this isn't as bad and as revealing as I kind of built it up in my head to be. The cutouts, obviously there's quite a lot of them, which does show quite a bit of skin as you can see, but they are placed quite strategically. For example, yes, you can see like the line of my underwear and yes, you can see all down here, but I have noticed that if you look from the side, you're not actually gonna see my crotch. And that is just because of how like body tight this dress is. It's not gonna allow anybody to like see under the actual like cutouts. As for the chest cutouts, I mean, I really, really like this cutout here. It's very nice. It's not too revealing in my opinion. This one I feel like might just be a little bit much, but I feel like because the color of the actual mesh is quite similar to my skin tone, it sort of covers up anything. Honestly, the fit of it is actually really, really nice. It's very body adhering. It's very like buttery smooth. It kind of just glides over any lumps and bumps and I love the way that it kind of like tapers in right around my knees and then it kind of fans out at the bottom into like this really cute train. In my opinion it's really flattering but it's also very very extra so I have no idea where I would wear something like this. This is what it looks like from the front as well as from the back. Oh my gosh from the back it's giving skims vibes. Also it does have some cutouts on the back but nowhere near as much. I have to say I am very very shocked at how much I do like this dress because I thought I was gonna hate it. I think on a scale of one to 10, this dress definitely deserves like a nine. It's actually really decently made and it fits like a dream. Okay, the next dress we're trying out is this one here. This cost 18 pounds 98. This is actually the most expensive dress of this video. So let's crack it open together. This is it. I really, really liked this dress on the website because it kind of gave me like Parisian vibes. It just looked really, really girly and sophisticated and put together. So this is it. This is gonna be kind of hard to show you guys on camera, but this is the top. It's kind of got like a bardo area. It then joins onto this long sleeve that's also bardo, but this part of the fabric kind of like drapes over it so you don't actually see that they're not joined. So once it's on, it should look like this. It then has like this little bit of a ribbon in the center of the bust so you can tie it into a bow or just leave it draping like that. It then has this black sleeve that then also has this like mesh kind of 
cream fabric on the bottom. And then the actual skirt of the dress is made of that same cream kind of floaty mesh fabric. I mean, quality wise, this definitely feels like the best quality that I've tried so far in this video. It feels very soft, very stretchy and just like well made. So I have high hopes for this one. Let's pop it on and see how it fits. Okay, this dress is freaking stunning. Look at it. It is actually one of the better dresses I think I'm gonna try in this video. I just love the look of it. It looks so girly, so like romantic. It kind of gives me like Parisian vibes. It also makes me think of Chanel, mainly because of like the cream with the black. It definitely looks a lot more expensive than it was. My one complaint is that this part here kind of like droops lower than the sleeve. I guess you could pull the sleeve lower than and it kind of looks okay, but I just wish maybe this was actually attached to the black sleeve. That definitely would have made it a lot better, but it's okay. I've tied the little string into a bow and I think it looks adorable. I love the fabric that the skirt is made out of. It's made out of that like mesh kind of fabric, but it does have like a little petticoat underneath. And the dress is very, very stretchy as well. Like it has this elasticated band around the waist. So it's super, super comfortable. This is what it looks like from the front as well as the back. I wouldn't say the skirt is see-through, so that's a plus. I guess I'm gonna give this dress like a nine out of 10. The only thing that would have made it better is if this was attached to the black sleeve. All right, now moving on to the next dress, we're gonna be trying out this one. Now, although this wasn't really my typical like taste, I probably would never wear something like this, but I thought for maybe some of you guys out there, this would be an amazing like summer holiday dress. The color of it is just so much fun. It's very bright and cheerful, so I just really liked it for that. And and plus, I'm the queen of beiges, so I feel like I really need to like step out of my comfort zone more and more. So here it is. This is the dress. This one was really inexpensive. It was only £10.29. And this is what the dress looks like. Oh my gosh, this is actually so cool. The print is even better than I thought it would be. Like it is so bright and vibrant. It starts off with like a really light colored orange in the midsection. It then kind of fades into this hot red sort of color, which I feel like optically that would actually make you look a lot more slender. Around the hips, it then starts to go back to this lighter color all the way down to almost like a white at the bottom. I just feel like whoever designed this pattern needs a raise. It is so fun. It's gonna make you look so tall because the stripes are vertical. It's actually even got adjustable straps, which is amazing in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of how thin the fabric is though. It is like very, very thin, but I don't know, maybe it won't be see-through. Also, I don't love the stitching work. It's like a very thin stitch at the top. So I feel like this is gonna fray maybe very quickly. But regardless, this was only 10 pounds. So I guess let's go pop it on and see how it looks. Here is the little orange number. Now I have to say, I am impressed with this dress. It is very, very flattering. The fabric is really nice and breathable. I feel like this dress would be perfect for like a hot country holiday, chilling by the the pool, that kind of vibe. The thing I have to say about this is the fact that it is quite see-through. I feel like you can see the outline of my underwear, even though I'm wearing neutral colored underwear. I love the neckline, but I do wish that it had a little bit more structure because I feel like this middle part kind of falls in and you sort of see like the underside of the fabric, which doesn't look too appealing. I love the fact that the straps are adjustable. That definitely really helped me out a lot with this one. And in general, I just really love the shape of the dress. It really kind of like tapers in and kind of fans out in the bottom. It's a very flowy kind of fabric as well. So yeah, I just really, really love it. Like I said, the pattern is definitely not very me. Like I normally wouldn't go for something like this, but I actually really, really like it. I just love how smooth the fabric is. It honestly feels so lightweight and breathable. So I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. All right. And now the very last dress that we're going to be trying out is this one here. And it's like a little mini black dress. The thing I really liked about it though, is how long and extreme the sleeves were. This dress was only nine pounds, but I'm really keen to see how the fit will be. Here it is. Okay, the fabric is basically made of that same fabric that the previous dress was made from, the orange one. It's like a very smooth, stretchy kind of fabric, almost like, I guess, a nylon fabric. First things first, I absolutely love the neckline. It's like a super deep, ruched kind of off the shoulder bardo moment. It's ruched on the front as well as the back. Lengthwise, it doesn't go too far down. It's basically a mini dress, but the 
the sleeves definitely go way beyond. The actual sleeve, the opening for it for like your hand is here, but then it goes so much further than it needs to. Honestly though, I really like that. I think it's gonna have a lot of movement when you move your arms and it's just gonna look really, really cool. This is gonna give modern day vampire on the night out sort of vibes. So let's go try this one on and see what it's about. Okay, the shape of this dress is literally so good. I mean, look at these sleeves. What is going on? They are so much fun, but I have a feeling they would also get very annoying very quickly. This dress is kind of giving like Slender Man. <laughs> Do you guys remember that game? Like I swear Slender Man had really long arms. Not only is this dress very extra and bougie, but it also doubles up as a weapon. If anybody should offend you, all you have to do is just slap them. <laughs> and also you don't even have to get close to them to slap them. You have quite a long proximity range. I'm just kidding, of course, but I just feel like these are just meant to like slap things with. Anyways, the actual dress fits like a glove. It is literally so tight fitting around the body, but it's not uncomfortable. Like I can still breathe in this. It's very stretchy. I mean, look at that. And I really, really like the neckline. When I put this on, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it because it was kind of like falling down. But as soon as it's on both of your shoulders, it doesn't really do that. It has like the stretch and it's fine. I honestly feel like this dress belongs in one of my weird clothing items kind of videos. This is one of those dresses you definitely wouldn't want to wear to dinner because you'd be dipping your sleeves in everything. I think on a scale of one to 10, this dress definitely deserves a nine at least. All right guys, so that was everything for today's Timu. Very extra kind of dresses. Let me know which one of these dresses was your favorite as always. This is really difficult. I don't know if I can choose, but if I really had to, I feel like the like black and white one with the little like bardo off the shoulder moment was probably my favorite one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like this, definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below to help me out. And also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. Before you go, if you haven't seen my recent Timu videos, you guys are in for a treat. I'll list a couple right in the eye there so you guys can check it out. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.